What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be upgrading the big three. Now the big three, what's the big three? To be honest, I don't really know. <laughs> but the idea is to upgrade your charging system. Ugh. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. <sighs> yeah. I don't have a hood strut, so. There we are. Okay. The big three is pretty much upgrading the ground wire from the battery, the ground wire from the engine, and the power wire from the battery straight to the alternator. We're pretty much gonna upgrade the charging system so that the alternator will efficiently charge the battery. In my case, I already have a new battery and alternator, but I'm still having electrical issues. So my next step is to do the big three upgrade. So why do we need to upgrade the big three? For one, the OEM wires are usually pretty small. So when you do the big three upgrade, you usually get a bigger gauge wire. Second, this car is a 2007, so this car is 15 years old. The wires on this car are probably old and brittle and corroded, so a refresh wouldn't hurt at all. And lastly, if you have electrical problems, like you notice your lights are kind of dim inside, or maybe they flicker on and off, upgrading the Victory is gonna help prevent all these electrical issues. Plus, it's highly recommended if you get an aftermarket subsystem installed. So why not do the Big Three upgrade? Hmm? This is everything we're gonna need for upgrading the big three. Yo, this thing is freaking huge. <laughs> this is a fuse holder with a 250 rating amp, but this is for a zero gauge wire. This thing is ginormous. I don't even know how big the wire is gonna be, but just based on this, the zero gauge wire is gonna be freaking huge. Wait. <sighs> Oh man, yo, these wires are freaking fat. <laughs> this is 25 foot of OFC wire. OFC means oxygen free copper. This is the highest quality wire you can use for your charging system. And lastly, I'm gonna upgrade the battery terminals because mine look really bad and these look super fancy. Look at that, jeez. It even has this plastic cover to go over it. Oh, and it's engraved with a positive sign and the other one has a negative symbol as well. They also provide a couple of shims just in case these are a little too big for the terminal. So if you put the shim around the terminals, it'll grip it nicely and get a solid connection. Look at this. So this is my old power wire. This is the four gauge wire and this is the zero gauge wire. Look at how much of a difference that is. This wire was using a 125 amp fuse. This new one is going to be 250 amp. This casing is just a fuse holder and what's special about this one is it is self insulated. So you can see I had to create these terminals so it'll bolt down right here onto the fuse. Whereas this new one, I can just unscrew each end. This whole assembly just slides out, just like that. And this one's gonna allow me to just insert the wire right here and I can just mount it down by screwing this instead of doing the extra work to create a new terminal. So I really like this design a lot better. All right, so step one of the Big 3 upgrade, I'm gonna start with creating a power wire from the positive terminal on the battery straight to the power wire on the alternator right here. You can just create a wire from that terminal to the alternator, but I wanna be safe. So that's why I'm using this fuse holder right here. A lot of people don't use a fuse in between the battery and alternator, but I just wanna be safe. One reason you'll want to install this fuse like I do is this. I didn't expect to get in an accident. And let's say you do get in an accident and that wire comes loose. If it gets grounded onto something, it's gonna spark and create a fire. So this is just a little insurance. I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I'm gonna take the extra step to get this installed. All right, this is how I did my big three upgrade from the negative terminal on the battery. I got one big zero gauge going all the way to the chassis right here. I replaced the OEM one 
with this one that's a little smaller and it goes right there. I kept the OEM ground wire and just added a second one. This is the zero gauge and it goes under the battery right there to that bolt. Hopefully that's good. <laughs> and on this side, there was another OEM wire from the motor mount to chassis. I'll replace it with a zero gauge. You can see it's exposed and it doesn't really look good. So I went ahead and just replaced it with my own zero gauge wire right there. So we got the battery ground upgraded. We got the chassis ground upgraded on both sides. And the third part to the big three is the power wire. I made this harder than it should have been because I added this fuse. It took me a lot of time to figure out where I wanted to place the fuse because you want to keep the fuse within 18 inches of the battery. And if you want to go straight from here to the alternator, there's this hose and this hose you want to worry about. And I just didn't want the fuse to just be dangling somewhere. So I decided to go from this terminal right here by the headlight so I could zip tie it to this radiator support and then it'll go to the alternator.